What's up everyone and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto Online gameplay commentary video here on my channel today. In this video we're going to be breaking down the latest news while going through anything and everything you guys need to know about the Ill Gotten Gains Part 2 update coming next week to Grand Theft Auto Online during Wednesday the 8th of July. Not only that, we're also going to be getting the return of the Independence Day DLC special for anyone who missed the items previously. They're going to be returning to GTA Online and even cheaper than before. And yes, including the fireworks rocket launcher. I think July is going to be absolutely awesome. To top it off, a couple days after the DLC comes out, it's your boy Ted's birthday. So, give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys are excited for this DLC. Hopefully in the coming days, I'm going to have some money making methods out to get you guys topped up. And and a few more interesting video ideas that hopefully you guys can enjoy all you need to do is subscribe it's simple let's get down into the information itself I want to start off with the first image as you guys can see this is like the poster image for the ill gotten gains part 2 you can see the new sports car which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second you can see people wearing new clothes which just as note that there's actually gonna be a new shipment of clothing and accessories that are available at high-end retailers across Los Santos now talking a little bit more about about the supercar that is there I believe it's a supercar don't think it's a sports car this is actually the blazingly fast progen t20 and is built from the ground up for quick getaways and street tuning here I'm gonna show you guys another image of it in red I think it looks better in yellow but this is actually it getting away from a police helicopter which I think is gonna be pretty awesome and moving on to the next vehicle that we have, I think I'm more excited for this one than the super or sports car, the Progen T20. This is actually the coil brawler and it's actually equipped to handle in any different terrain. As you guys can see, this is my kind of car. We got some armor on it, we got some really nice suspension, off-road vehicles, we got some fog lights on top. I'm really interested to see how fast this vehicle can go and how well it can handle on different terrains and hopefully, judging by the image, it's going to be an absolutely awesome vehicle. Let me know down below in the comment section which one is your favorite item from all of these that we're going to be going through once the video is done. On to the next vehicle we have the Lampadati Toro I believe it's pronounced. This is actually a new dock tease speedboat and as you guys can see there's nothing really too much about it. It's just a new boat however it's made out of wood but well, most of it's made out of wood and I think it does actually look pretty sleek. Now we got even more vehicles. We got like freaking six seven vehicles coming with this DLC which I think is a great change from the other DLCs that we've seen recently. The Inverto Coquette Blackfin offers a new body style to an old favorite as you guys can see. I'm not really digging the old sports classic vehicles. It doesn't look too shabby. I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying this. However, there's still a lot more vehicles that we are going to be going through. So the second last vehicle is the Vapicino and it says represent your local custom shop in the Vapicino with a Los Santos customs plaque. I believe it's probably going to be placed at the back of the car. Uh, I'm probably going to buy this one rather than the sports classic car because, you know, it has something exclusive to it. However, with these kind of vehicles, you normally have like secret upgradable customizations and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see how it pans out. May even swap this out for my vapid blade. You never know. The last vehicle that we're going to be going through before we move on to the weapons is the Dinka Vindicator. This kind of looks like the Dinka Thrust. However, it's the Vindicator, brand new. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to keep up with the thrust because that's currently like the fastest motorbike in GTA Online. Hopefully it's moderately fast and also has a better handling than the previous Dinka motorcycle installment that we did see in Grand Theft Auto Online. Moving on to the weapons, we're going to do this swiftly. We have the Knuckle Duster from Ammunition. Now in the leaked DLC sources, it actually claimed that there's going to be new customizational options for this Knuckle Duster. Maybe you can change the letters on it, you know, so it meets your clan tag or crew name or whatever. Not really too sure at this moment in time. However, I've always wanted this weapon to return to the GTA franchise. And what better way with the Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2 update for Grand Theft Auto Online. The last item that we are going to be receiving is the extremely powerful and damaging single shot marksman pistol this looks like a little shotgun this looks like the freaking ranger from mw2 i think this one is definitely gonna pack a punch single shot i'm definitely gonna be messing about with this gun you know shooting you guys in the head having a great time may also do some tests on it to see how great the range is the damage at distance and so on and so forth once again all of this is going to be available during Wednesday, July the 8th. We're also going to be getting the Independence Day DLC items back, but they're going to be even cheaper this time. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are GTA fans and haven't already subscribed to my channel. 
do that. If you don't feel like doing it, then go slam your head on the nearest wall that you can find in your room. Just slam it and slam it and slam it until you get the sudden realization that I'm gonna have some money guides out, a bunch of new interesting videos. Everything I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna have gameplay of it on my YouTube channel and then from there you guys can decide whether or not you want to purchase it for yourself and it's a worthy investment in Grand Theft Auto Online. Let me know down below in the comment section what was your favorite item from this DLC breakdown. Take care everyone and I'll catch you guys later.